there is a plan to enslave you and me, all of humanity. They want to bring under the control of this new world order, end times, antichrist system, my friends. And it's called the 2030 Agenda. And they're already accelerating it. They want to get most of this stuff done by 2025. Now, I'm going to read to you in this short video, 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. I'm going to read to you exactly what each 17 goal is. I'm not going to go into great detail, but I'm going to read what they have listed and what is the real hidden agenda behind each goal. Because it's of Satan, my friends. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Make no doubt about it. What they're doing is total communism. It's total surveillance, enslavement. And they even said at the World Economic Forum, those parasites, that 2030, you will own nothing and be happy. But then you'll say, well, how can I own nothing and be happy? It's communism, my friends. They'll be in complete control by then, if not a few years from now, if not this year of your wallets. And how do they plan on doing that? Digital currency, CBDCs, my friends. Perhaps they, I'm just going to put this out there, perhaps they already, over the past few years, psyopsed us into accepting the term CBDC through the promotion of CBD. Think about it. Things happen, my friends, for a reason. There's no such things as coincidences. We have to think outside of the existence of having no box. We got to use common sense. And we have to have a biblical mindset with what's going on. Of course, pray to God and ask him for discernment. So 17 goals that will happen if they're successful by 2030. Number one, they want no poverty. Sounds great, doesn't it? I think it sounds wonderful. We should help our fellow man, but their version of no poverty is complete control. You see, they want to disguise evil as good. That's exactly what's going on. So be not deceived, my friends. So I'm just going to get right into it. Number one, no poverty. What they really want is to be in control, as I said. They want to be in control of the food supply, the banking institutions, everything that you eat and drink. That goes into number two, no hunger. People are going to be saying, well, what's wrong with that? Well, nothing's wrong with that, but depending on who's in control of the food supply, he who is in control of the food can starve the people. He who is in control of the food can poison the people and control the people and what they eat and when they eat and what they choose to eat. And this ties with the digital ration cards. Number three, good health and well-being. Yeah, we see how that played out with the... <clears throat> plan <clears throat> dem <clears throat> ick with the vac <clears throat> scene sorry guys i don't want to get a strike on my youtube channel so they want to say well we know what's best for you forced vaccinations that's what they want number four quality education we can see how well that's working with the public school system you see they want to teach you what to think and not how to think. They want to control you and indoctrinate you and lead you towards being a submissive, willing slave to the sodomite state, which they ultimately want you to worship them. It's all going to lead to the Antichrist, my friends. Number five, gender equality. Don't get me started on this sodomite nonsense. Yes, if you've seen in another video, the Antichrist will be a homosexual. That's why they're setting everything up. That's why they have pro-homosexual, LGBT, Q-positive, whatever you want to call it, ABC, XYZ, nonsense, satanic, alphabet soup. They want to promote this in order to disrupt the family unit, in order to attack what God has designed. So you're going to see more of this. It's not just about ending world hunger. Okay, there is an agenda that goes deep and it's rooted in the occult and ultimately it's rooted in the ushering in of the Antichrist, my friends. So yes, gender equality, they want to attack Christians. Eventually they're going to be persecuting us and then jailing us. How? They're going to start doing that by attacking us financially. And of course, with freedom of speech, they're going to call us hate mongers. And they're going to call us so many things because of our faith, my friends. But stand strong. Christ will one day wipe them out, my friends. Christ will cut them off. So continue 
to preach the gospel and reach other folks. So anyway, moving on, number six, clean water and sanitation. Sounds good, right? Until you realize who's in control. They're buying up everything. They're buying up the natural resources. You want clean water? Well, they're giving you polluted water with fluoride, calling it such things as bottled water when it comes to purified water. It's nothing more than glorified water with their chemicals in it. What's the agenda? Altering your DNA so that way you could be more compatible with their Neuralink, iron and clay, as the Bible talks about, getting you compatible with machines so that way they could read your brainwaves, pre-crime. There's so many things they want to do in order to enslave you, to control you, and to make money off of the information they gather from you, my friends. So we're moving on halfway through. Number eight, decent work and economic growth. Think about it. They're going to crash the system, rebuild the smart grid, more like a surveillance grid. And guess what? Who's paying for this work? Who's paying for this economic growth? And of course, with economic growth, this ties into digital currency where there will be an expiration date because, well, if we want to stimulate the economy, there has to be an expiration date on your currency so you go out and spend more because we can't have inflation. We can't have another great recession or depression like we're going to see pretty soon. Nine, industry innovation and infrastructure. This goes hand in hand, of course. Tesla, I believe they're going to use him and others to rebuild the grid because of a crisis that's going to happen, whether they blame it on a Russia or a terrorist maybe even a Christian, that power grid's going to go down. Even the World Economic Forum at Davos said there's going to be a superbug. No, not some health crisis. They're just saying those things are scary. But the superbug they talked about, which is a computer virus, that's why you've been hearing a lot about these substations, these attacks, websites going down, power outages. They're all just beta tests, dry runs for what they really plan on doing. They want to take over... The infrastructure, the industry, the water, the food, total communism. Number 10, reduced inequalities. Well, there you have it, folks. It's more about their end times agenda nonsense. Hating on the family, hating on the male as a role model, hating on the Christ biblical headship. That's what Satan wants. So they're going to continue to blur the lines. Number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Well, if you haven't heard already, I'm just going to say it. They have 15-minute cities that they're building right now across the globe. Sounds great. Well, everything's going to be within a 15-minute walk. My doctor's office, my work, grocery store, gym, whatever. Sounds great, doesn't it? But that's how Satan comes. He wants to deceive you into surveillance. That's all it's going to be, a surveillance concentration camp. It's going to be a prison where the people are their own prison guards without even knowing it. The illusion of safety, giving away your freedoms and everything, the good that comes with being a free human with a false sense of we're here to protect you. And don't get me started on Donald Zionist trumpet, okay? He is a part of the plan. He's the one that rolled out the vaccines, my friends. Do not let him fool you. So with that being said, he has his version, freedom cities on federal land. Why does Donald Trump have a version of 15-minute cities but calling them freedom cities? Because they have to keep you stuck in the false left-right paradigm. Republican versus Democrat. Well, it's all being controlled by these corporations known as political parties. Don't be fooled. Don't be duped. Don't vote for president. Carry out the Great Commission. Get Christians ready for the Great Commission, for persecution. Tell them to prepare. Preach the second coming of Christ. Winneth souls, my friends. Don't move into one of these 15-minute cities because they're going to do everything they can to try to lure you into them. So in the meantime, build community. Live on a farm. Have a bug-out location. Whatever you can do to be more self-sufficient. So we're at number 12 now. Responsible consumption and... Does that really say production? Well, 
Yeah, so we know what that's headed towards, responsible consumption, and they just want to control everything you eat, the fuel that you use, if there's any fuel left, or if you can afford it. They want to ration things that you buy. They want to take control of over every aspect of your life. Number 13, climate action. Of course, there's no such thing as global warming. The Earth naturally changes depending on the cycles and the ozone and how close it gets to the sun depending on the year. Don't let them fool you. Yes, we should be good stewards of our Earth and not pollute it, but they're using this as an excuse, the satanic green agenda, in order to bring in a totalitarianism version of what they want, and that's to control you to destroy you, to get rid of the wealth that you have and transfer. That's what it is. It's a transfer of wealth, the green agenda, from the West to the East, okay? But it's all being done by the same people. They just want to take down America because you can't have a global New World Order, One World Order, United Nations government if there are superpowers. That's why we see wars and everything's propagated and set up. It's really happening. People are dying. It's very sad, but it's all theater and planned in order to usher in their agenda. Number 14, below, does it really say life below the water? Well, I guess they want to, of course, poison the water as they did with Fukushima and control the water, clean it up. They want to own everything, okay? That's what it comes down to. Just another agenda in order to own property and take control of the entire world. 15, life on land. Well, of course, that's next. If you want to take over the water, why not take over the land? We've known this for decades, even in Rio de Janeiro. How do you say Rio de Janeiro? Sorry, I'm not the best with these words. Brazil, there's a conference, Agenda 21, okay? Even before the 2030 agenda, they had these agendas. It's all been rolled out, okay? It's all been planned for the longest time. They want to control your land and get rid of your private property rights. But of course, we can peacefully fight back by creating a system within a system. Get a group of people. Get some family. Get your family. Get some land. Buy gold and silver because when the time comes, when the dollar is just so inflated and destroyed and collapsed, you're going to need that gold and silver to continue to survive and thrive and to pay property taxes so that way they can't take your land. 16. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. Sounds good, right? No, it's not. Peace. Well, according to them, you can't have peace without war. And that's what they want to do. They want to continue to have war on us, the people. Justice. Justice isn't biblical justice. It's their false social justice. Justice, making homosexuals, gays, all that stuff that is against God as the new civil rights movement. And they're going to punish Christians. Okay, that's what they want to do. They're going to set up courts and institutions, international courts in order to bring us accountable and there will be beheadings okay they want to bring their justice against the christians because we stand for true justice against their injustice and number seven i'm sorry number 17 partnerships for the goals so of course they can't do this unless we willingly allow them to okay so this is what we must do, my friends. We must withdraw consent. We must withdraw support of their Luciferian occult and times agenda. We can't support this. We must love what God loves and hate what God hates. Okay? Yes, God will have the final laugh. Yes, God will have the final say. No Schwab or whoever these world economic forms, the Rothschilds, the <coughs> Jew world order... Vatican, Antichrist, last pope, they're all working against us. Guess what? They're not going to have the final laugh. God's going to use this for his glory. He's going to wage war against them, and we shall triumph, my friends. With that being said, in this 15-minute video, don't be discouraged. You know what's going on. Don't be caught off guard. Don't be surprised by what's happening. Take advantage of the opportunity to ultimately preach Christ serve his church, serve others, build a sense of community, carry the banner of torch of Christ and his holy word, preach against 
the satanic agenda while proclaiming the coming, the second coming of Christ, my friends. Do not fret. We will win. Take care. Stay prepared. Do not give up hope. And may you look to Christ today.